That's right. It's where we find NBC5's first warning chief meteorologist, Tyler Jankowski. He's there with the details on Kids Eat Free Night. And I'm guessing he's got some food standing by with him, right? Yes. Well, I had my hot dog about 30 minutes ago. It is for 12 and under. Kids 12 and under. Kids Eat Free Night. The hot dog, chips, and a drink. And that is underway. The first pitch coming up here. We've also got our two new sports reporters. If you've been watching for the whole show, you, you saw that we uh, chatted earlier. But Jack Maine in red. He's actually the hometown guy from South Burlington. So we're super excited to have him on our team. And uh, Noah Searson. So uh, we learned where you're from a little earlier on. What inspired you to get into sports coverage, Jack? Getting into sports coverage was really just coming to Centennial Fields. Ever since I was a kid, being able to cheer on the Vermont Lake Monsters and me wanting to be that guy that was at the ballpark every single night bringing you guys the local highlights. And that is exactly why I joined NBC5 and, of course, <laughs> to be co-workers with Tyler Jankowski. Oh, Jack, we're so happy to have you. Noah, what, what got you into sports? Well, Tyler, when I was originally a kid, my dream job was to become an athlete. Now, that obviously that didn't, didn't work out. No, it, okay. it did not work out, but the next closest thing was to be covering it, the drama, the stories. Jack and I are already working on some fantastic in-depth stories from every level of high school, school, Lake Monsters, Vermont Green FC. We've got it all covered, and we're very excited uh, to show the people all the coverage we can bring. Well, speaking of that and some of the improvements, Jack, you uh, have something to show us about what's changed here at the park, right? Yeah, absolutely. Earlier tonight, Noah kind of highlighted all the things that little leaguers can do and enjoy when they come to Centennial Field, but they got to get to the ballpark somehow. And when those parents drop them off, they've got all the amenities that they could want right here at Centennial Field. This past winter, Lake Monster Ownership Group made some major renovations to the 116-year-old ballpark, including a new party deck down the right field line, along with upgraded seating down the left field line and behind home plates. With the new views come some new food options, including brick oven pizza, hard serve ice cream, and beer-soaked brats. Well, our new owner, Chris English, really decided to step up to the plate and make sure that baseball stays in Burlington for a long, long time. And one of the ways to do that is to really provide some a modern, a modern fan amenities. And so uh, everything from the field level suites to sunset seating to great close to the action sight lines to watch the game and, and talk to the players and also sit around a fire pit, and enjoy a fire uh, during a baseball game. So it's really a, an awesome addition. Yeah, absolutely. And these party deck seats right here received a lot of criticism when they were originally announced because of the hefty price tag. $1,600 a night to rent it out. That's about $100 per person if you have your company coming down here. But CJ Newton says the team expects to sell out this patio almost every home game. And they changed the price. It's lower now, too. So uh, okay. so that is some good news, too. Maybe, that could be good news. Maybe we could have an NBC5 event here. Let's uh, we'll float uh, that one by the bosses. Super excited to have you. The pride of South Burlington High School. So uh, that's a get for us here at NBC5. We'll learn more uh, as we see you in the coming weeks, certainly. But we've got some weather to talk about as you can tell the wind is really whipping out here but it's comfortable other than that I mean it's not humid we're not expecting